They must have been on sale. Look at all these little glycerins. We sell these in the store, but they're perfect for first time soapers because you can get a whole bunch of batches of soap out of that. And then uh, these are essential oils, I think. Yes. All right. Oh, yes, they're organic cocoa butter rocks. Absolutely rocks. When you open it up, oh, well, it's sealed. When you open it up and smell it, it smells just like chocolate and you just want to eat it. And that means that it's the best, absolutely the best. And then I've got the organic shea butter and we sell these here at the store. My body butter is so good that's made with this that we don't sell as many of these as some people would. oils in it that's great for the skin like lavender and lemongrass uh, and it makes it so easy to flow on and everything when you do that so then why would anybody want to buy just shea butter well our customers that do are customers who are making their own recipes and so they will make their own recipe and they need some shea butter so they can do it they can DIY it themselves. And so that's how come mainly that we keep the shea butter is for our customers to do it themselves and make fun recipes. And we keep lots of things here in the store, uh, like containers and things like that, so people can do it themselves. butter and uh, here is how I buy glycerin because I make so much soap I buy it in a big old jug and uh, I'm sure it's probably cheaper that way too and so that means so. uh, let's see yep I need to put that back in there and fold that down because I'm not going to utilize every one of these molds all at the same time. I'm going to put some of them aside for some making classes. All right. Let's see what's in this box. And now, one of the great things, and we're making soap here at the Cornerstone Market. Mondays are crazy. blessing right now and today is Monday and it's crazy and she's already throw her already ready to throw her hands up ain't you Melissa yeah <laughs> yeah she said yeah <laughs> all right uh, Melissa I'm gonna get you to come grab some of this stuff okay. and put it on the shelves I swear uh, their block their their uh, blocks uh, got just a little bit wonky in shipping I think because it gets so darn hot but it uh, but it don't matter uh, because shea butter is the absolute best in the West. You're standing directly in front of the, front, the camera, and they, they saw the absolutely beautiful back of your oh. shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to put those three. Oh, no. Put these three on the shelf, and all of this stuff here, this plastic needs to come off, and, um, and you will see prices on the other ones, and if you don't, just call her if there's none there. Uh, after I get done with the video, but you can go ahead and sit it on the shelves. And we've got some of them on a little white shelf on the wall, but these need to go on the on the main shelf. And um, that big main shelf at the front door. All right. So. And you put you you put little red stickers on the top or the front, or something on the words. And on these big shea I'll have to get you to price on those. 
Are you okay with that? All right. So there they go. Out to the public. And those are something else. And that's shea butter uh, for uh, back here because we are out. Out. And uh, by the way, uh, Meggers, Meggers. She's got her headphones in. <laughs> Meggers. Okay. We needed that, didn't we? All right, so I'm going to throw these two over here at you uh, so that you can uh, do, do what you do when you get ready. And then this right here, it goes out here on this other shelf. I got so much stuff, I just decided to put it up while you was watching. All right. So now, I mean, when well, Essential Depot has moles on sale, us soapers have got to buy them. I sort of think, yes, there they are. I got moles, I got moles, I got moles. This is a whole box of those little boogers. I am so excited about that. I'm going to put this one here. Now, on these silicone moles, they are absolutely awesome. They're nice and thick. So your relatives will be fighting over these at your estate sale. Uh, hopefully they'll wait until after the funeral. Uh, they last forever. And of course, they fit down, and these are dirty. I mean, they're not dirty, but they're, these have been used. They fit down in these baskets that Essential Depot sells. And I already had extra ones of those bought up, so I didn't need any of those, because when something goes on sale, you got to buy when you can. So let me get those out of the way. Oh, all right. And Essential Depot, uh, they try to, you know, be real uh, helpful with the UPS. So they put fragile, handle with care. They got their label on there, fragile, handle with care. And they got their label on there, and it's real big and bright, and it stands out. And then forward damage items to co and C. So, uh, co and C. So, and then, you know, you got your barcode stuff. So, they try to be really helpful so that if something happens that their boxes are damaged in the shipping, which happens, um, then, you know, I mean, UPS is UPS. You can control the little boogers. Oh. And so, these are essential oils that I ordered. I tell you, I think Essential Depot must be uh, uh, buying uh, essential oils in smaller quantities because of the heat, or they, uh, you know, like their big vats or stuff, or they are just literally slap selling so much of it they can barely keep up with orders. I don't know which it is, but every time I go on there to order, they got it on sale, and they're out of what I need. And uh, I didn't get to get rosemary this time. Uh, and and, and uh, so it's just crap out of luck, you know, no rosemary. <coughs> so, um, I don't know how come there's two packs of sacrum. I don't even use Splenda. All right, I'm trying to stay away from all artificial sweeteners. My boyfriend, he uses only honey to sweeten with. He's in the natural too. And, uh, and then he'll use artificial sweetener. And here I won't use artificial sweetener. And all I'll use, uh, and, and I haven't been using honey. Woo! Then shea butters must have been on sale because I bought more than I thought I did. Melissa? Yeah. Come get some more of these. I'll give you a price of them just as soon as I can. Uh, sort of patched the hole up on this one. Okay. It didn't get sealed good and fix it where the label shows and put those three on the shelf and then we'll keep these two here. Hey, uh, Megan, mm -hmm. let me give you these two and then you put, put them under the bed before we store them for our use. Because we are uh, needing a lot of lotion. Is that it? Did I get them all? Did I open all the boxes? Wow! I was, well, you know, one whole box was 
full of mold. All right, so let's see what essential oils I got. Hey, uh, Maggers, would you check uh, that one right there and see if it needs anything? And uh, I'm doing a video on that other one, so if it needs anything, like if it needs a tic-tac-toe method, I got a video oh, doing it. Do that yeah, just on this, on 20, but on 16, I mean on 11, you just do whatever it needs, but let me know on the 20. Are you hearing me? I know you can, okay. A uh, while ago, you were so cute, you were singing, but we couldn't hear the music. All we could hear was you. And we didn't know what uh, great fire, balls of fire, or oh, something. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what was it she was singing a while ago, Melissa? I don't know. Anyway, all of a sudden, we'd hear you say that, and we didn't think about it being you, and we're like, where is that coming from? And we were, and we were so funny. It was a doll. You were just a doll. That's all I'm going to say about it. Oh, yeah. It was absolutely gorgeous uh, what she was doing, and uh, and and but we couldn't figure out where it was coming from, and we were just flipping out. And then finally she said, "It's Megger. She's singing." Oh, okay. <laughs> Melissa. Yeah. Uh, have you got all that stuff priced out there? The no, not yet. Not yet. I mean, I got the that one over there done yet, but I'm working on the that oil stuff. The, the the butter. Oh, just, oh yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about the herbs. I need to give you some more things right quick before you run. Okay. And so I'm gonna pause you. She's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me when I turn the camera off and you ain't looking. <laughs> All right. So this one is black cumin. I'm gonna tell you right now. This is a controversial oil in my opinion because True Living and the Terra won't sell it. You know why they don't sell it? They don't sell it. Because if you use this a lot, you ain't gonna get sick. So put this in all your lotions and body butters and soaps and things like this. Uh, black, black human essential oil is just awesome. Uh, it, it, it's wonderful for, uh, it's been used in composts or potuses or whatever. And uh, it, black human is just the most awesome stuff in the whole wide world when it comes to helping you be healthy. And I, it, it's got a list of things it's good for that's so long, I'm gonna just tell you to go online and go to Google. I like Google. And um, uh, some people call it giggle. But anyway, and tell it to, uh, and tell, uh, tell Google that you want to know the health benefits of black cumin essential oil. And the list is long. Melissa? All right. All right. Oh, evening primrose. We're going to save that one for a minute. Uh, tea tree. Now, everybody knows that tea tree, antifungal, antiseptic, antibacterial. And uh, according to the FDA, uh, it is okay for ingredients companies to tell what their ingredient is good for. Put that on the shelf. Uh, you'll see them right there. They're alphabeticalized, you know. All right. And if there's one already open, set that one behind it. Okay. Uh, and so tea tree is great for healing things, but healing things up. But if you, uh, ingredients companies, they say, I want to talk to the FDA, are allowed to list what their ingredients is good for. But then once you put it in a product, then you have to go by the regulations and standards that control that product. So uh, as an ingredient, tea tree is an antifungal, antiseptic, antibacterial. Uh, it is really great for helping heal up stuff. And I think it's great uh, for you when it's used in like for eczema and dermatitis, psoriasis and things of that sort, dandruff. Uh, it should not be poured on your dogs or poured anywhere near your dogs because they're gonna lick it and then they're gonna go into a comatose state and they could die. It's really bad for their liver. You get it in their mouth and you know, internal use, that's not what it's for. Even us people, if I took this and I poured it all over me and sat there for a while, I could go comatose, okay? Tea tree is considered a natural drug by the FDA or at least the ladies I talked to. I don't know if they got a rope down on their special. But anyway, so here's the tea tree. Now on tea tree, 2% tea tree, uh, no, 1% tea tree uh, for uh, when you're going to use it in a product on your entire body. Uh, after that, oh, that was my evening primrose. I can't wait to try that. All right. After you do that, then, uh, Oh, lavender. So as an ingredient, 
Lavender has the ability to, uh, is, it, lavender is said to be the most healing essential oil for the body. And a lavender essential oil is also soothing to the mind, helps you sleep. It's just some awesome stuff. Uh, here you go, Melissa. And it smells awesome. Okay, argan oil. Argan oil is a sister nut to shea butter. And anytime you want to use shea butter, but you would prefer a liquid instead of a solid, please use argon. Argon oil is the bomb. And I got several of those. I don't know if they're on sale or if I was just severely out. And so, let's see. See, I got set one, two, three, four, five. I got five of these. So here you go. I didn't even know I ordered five of those. Uh, they might, it's either on sale. You know where the oils are on this shelf over here? Mm -hmm. You'll stack those up. Don't put them on the, see heat rises. So put them towards the bottom okay. of the shelf and then put this one out for us to open and utilize when that bottle's empty. I think it's pretty close. All right. And argon oil is so awesome. It will just disappear into your skin. It has the ability to penetrate every layer of the epidermis and it does it fast. So people use it all the time on their hair. Uh, they just use it everywhere. Um, and, and we've got some noise going on next door because somebody has rented the building next to me. And I am so excited about that. So, so very excited. And So let's see what we got. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is great for the nose. As an ingredient, it is, I think it's healing for the sinus passages to smell it myself. Um, uh, it is the most wonderful stuff for clearing up your sinuses. Labadin is great to pair it with. Uh, peppermint is also wonderful to pair with it. Um, and also camphor. And I believe I have a video out there on how to clear your sinuses more naturally. Uh, peppermint, I got several peppermints. Peppermint, lavender, and tea tree is our biggest sellers. And, and clary sage, clary sage smells so good. I love clary sage and peppermint just by itself uh, in a thing. Now, we have got this, uh, people are coming in doing a recipe for a beard oil and majorium is in it, and that stuff's expensive. But I bought a little bottle of it for them, and they're paying me for what it costs, so I put that in a stuffing box. So anyway, all right, so, uh, so majorium, and it smells beautiful. It's just high, I can't afford it for soap. Uh, and the clary sage, clary sage, it's high, but uh, it has some, uh, some wonderful, helpful things about it. Um, it is a really great spirit lifter, but if there's anything that any of your customers are going to be allergic to, it's going to be the clary sage in your soap, because clary sage uh, uh, is a sage product, and I did not realize there was so many people that was allergic to sage and didn't know it, but see, you just really come in, a lot of people just come in contact with sage, you know, whenever, um, Thanksgiving is, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas. The rest of the time, they never even eat sage in their food. So, they eat something that didn't set with them or they ate too much of something and they don't realize that they're allergic to the, the clary sage. Uh, I mean, the sage that's in the food. And clary sage is a kind of sage. And uh, uh, sometimes people will even burn the, the sage sniffers we, or snuffers. We sell those here. And they'll burn those things. And uh, they don't realize, it takes them a good while to realize why they're getting an upset stomach or not feeling well or getting weak or what. And it's because they're allergic to sage. So if there's, I mean, people will talk about peppermint and all these things, but if you follow my recipes, I'm sorry, uh, I just nearly hit you with that one, Meg. I think so, quit adding it for the box. Anyway, uh, she don't even know what I'm talking about. She's got her headphones on. <laughs> anyway, so if you, uh, oh, that's eucalyptus. That goes over here. So anyway, so if you, um, 
Uh, so, it, you know, you, you hear all the time about peppermint and camper, but if you follow my videos where I tell you how much peppermint and how much, you know, this and that to put in your soaps, then you won't go wrong. But with the Clary Sage, be cautious because that if anybody calls you and says they got a rash, you can just pretty much say, did you use that bar number so-and-so or that bar name so-and-so and it has Clary Sage in it? And they'll say, yes. And I'll say, do you get an upset stomach around Thanksgiving? You know, it's like really common. And if they tell me no, I'll say, does your family use sage in, you know, in their dressing and stuff? And they'll always tell me no. That's how come they don't know they're allergic to sage too. It's because they don't use sage at Thanksgiving or Christmas. But anyway, and, and I'll say, well, did you, you know, and they'll go, uh-huh. And I go, there you go, you're allergic to sage. Just quit using that bar and you'll heal right up. And they do. So... There you go. And now eucalyptus makes a wonderful sinus soap, which I've told you about. But for men, men love the smell of eucalyptus. So I find that eucalyptus and peppermint soap for men sells wonderful. And, uh, and you just, uh, uh, it's like for a single batch, it would be one peppermint, two max, okay? One and a half would be even better. And, uh, four to six tablespoons of eucalyptus. You can sniff it and see how much, how strong you want it to be. Remember, when your soap is hot at 160 and you have put those essential oils in there, remember, if it smells too strong, it's perfect, right then. Once you mold it and, it cure, and you cut it the next day, it will not smell as, as strong because it's not hot. How's it doing? Uh, oh, okay, have, is all of these in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you see if number 20 needs a tic-tac-toe method done yeah. on it? If it does, I've got to do it on video, though, okay? All right. So now, let's put... Hey, Melissa? Yeah. Come and get these. This is all Clary Sage. You're welcome to take those just two at a time, four at a time, whatever you feel safe to take them. And sit them on the counter. And we're going to pour them up into, their, into the existing bottles that I have. And here is the peppermint, and here is the, the eucalyptus. Remember, be cautious. That's glass, and that's the cement bowl. All right. I had something really cool happen. With these new bottles, you can actually get the stopper out. Ah, have you seen that? No more cutting out stoppers. I was amazed. You know, I thought evening primrose oil would smell like roses. It don't smell a bit like roses. <laughs> hey, Maggers, would you smell this and tell me if it smells like roses to you? I get it over here where you don't have to be. Oh, you don't care? She says, okay. Um. I thought it would. <laughs> it smells like when you walk in the flower shop. Just, you just know, light. Lightly, yeah. Like a green smell that you smell. Yeah. Like that green yeah. smell. Yeah. It, I don't smell flowers. You want me to tell you how to fix that? I bet you this will smell, this would sell like crazy if you put this in like a one or four or two ounce bottle, whatever, and then you put 2% of geranium, rosemary, and put a touch of cedarwood. And you'd want to put pretty much equal amounts of rosemary and geranium, and then just put like a fourth of cedarwood compared to it and smell it. What it is, is, is rose and geranium smells like roses. But you need the woodsy, earthy t smell of the cedarwood to make it smell like roses. Because when you smell a rose, there's an earthy, woodsy smell in the background. But it's just like a, a little bit compared to the others. And so, you, I, I bet you, dollar, you could call that rose oil, and, uh, and people would just love it. And maybe cut it half and half with argon oil. Let's see how fast this seeks in. I don't know what evening, it, it seeks in pretty fast. I don't know what evening primrose oil uh, is good for. I'm going to have to look it up. But, uh, it definitely don't smell like roses. I thought 
for sure it would smell like roses. I was so excited. I'm gonna make it smell like roses and put little, little balls and sell it. And of course I'll tell people what's in it. I'm not crazy. All right, I'm a little crazy. Ah! So anyway, so we're gonna dock with that stuff up. All right, make it smell like roses. Darn, it's high. Evening primrose oil. And uh, we're gonna sell it and, and, and make two ounce bottles or something. Maybe four. And doctor it up and make it smell like roses. And you know, it'd actually be better for you then. We might cut it half and half with argon oil and call it rose oil. But in any case, um, uh, argon oil has the ability to penetrate every layer of the epidermis. So anything you put with argon oil is gonna cause it to go into your skin. That's my personal opinion. Because it has the ability to penetrate every layer of the epidermis. All right. Y'all be real quiet and don't tell Essential Depot I thought primrose oils would smell like roses. I, I'm just dumb sometimes. I, I just assumed. I'm, anyway, maybe it'd be better if I didn't know how silly I was. All right, so anyway. So, all right, so now we have opened up my package. There's supply, there's, there's boxes everywhere. We're gonna fix that in a minute. And we've made a terrible mess, but we've got stuff organized. So, there you go, all right. Bye, everybody. And remember, if you're ordering from Essential Depot, I would not be offended if you went to KimberlyMacNutt.com, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y-M-C-N-U-T-T.com, and, uh, and you clicked on, um, on uh, the uh, Use My Link, a Buy Stuff from Essential Depot link on that page. It's on the home page. And because uh, when you click on that link, when you go over to uh, Essential Depot, it sends a cookie to the shopping cart. And then I get credit for, for the because you made an order, and that helps me out bunches. And I so do appreciate it. You, you don't know how much that helps me, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. All righty. Bye, everybody.